Hey friends, so in this video I'm going to show you how to read the notes on the viola. Um, but first of all, you're probably watching this as a new violist, so yay! As somebody who teaches the violin and the viola, I'm always excited when um, someone wants to play the viola because that's the instrument that I play, <laughs> although I play both of them, but um, my degree is in viola. So anyway, let me just play you what the viola sounds like real quickly and then we'll get right into reading the notes. So on the viola, we have a C string, this is our lowest string, and we have an A string, which is our highest string in pitch. So lowest string in pitch, highest string in pitch. And then going up from there, we have a C, G, D, and A. And it's a beautiful instrument. gorgeous sound. So um, I'm going to try and keep this brief for you. I've drawn a little picture of the staff. Okay, so remember I said the viola has a C string, that's our lowest pitch, so it's all the way down here. And then we have an A string, sorry, right here, which is all the way up there. It's on the top of the staff. This one's on the bottom of the staff. And then you have your other strings in between here. So in total, the viola has a C string, G string, D string, and A string. All of these notes in purple here are on the C string. Then we cross over to open G. That's your next string over. And all of these notes in green are on the G string. Then we cross over to open D and all of these notes here in orange are on the D string. And then we can cross over to A and all of these notes are on the A string, okay? Um, one little thing to know is that actually, we have on the, on the viola, we have the open string, first finger, sorry, that would be first finger, second finger, third finger, and fourth finger. So actually, if you combine the open string, we have five notes that we can play. So here's the open string, this would be first finger, second finger, third finger, and then I could use my fourth finger, my pinky, to play this string. It's the same note as the open string. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I've got my open string C, first finger D, second E, third finger F, fourth finger can play G, which is the same as my open G, as, as long as it's in tune. To play that one down there so see how they're the same and the same thing here d oh, sorry g a b c d same as my open d and then same over here d e f sharp or f g a same as my open a and then a b c d e don't have another string over but on the violin we do have an E string, and it's this E here. All right, so um, let me just show you that picture again. Hopefully this kind of made sense, or at least was a little intro for you. Um, memorize your open strings. Space note, it's got one little ledger line. It's underneath the ledger line. G is a space note, it's on the bottom space. D is on the third space. A is on top. And from there, you can figure out your range. And you can figure out first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, or you could use your open string. Open string, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, or open string D. Open D, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, or open A. Open A, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. All right, notice that I've got an E here. I have an E here, and I have an E here. What string they're all on depends on where they are on the staff. This E, this is my second finger on the C string. Open, first finger, second finger. This E right here, this is first finger on the D string. Here's my D string. Next possible note, first finger. Here's an E, this is on the A string. This is my fourth finger on the A string. Open, one, two, three, four. All right. 
So I hope that is helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Amber. I am a music teacher in Media, um, Pennsylvania, and I, um, I'm very active on Patreon, on Instagram, and on YouTube. So if you need any help with your musical studies, I would love to work with you or love to have you reach out. Patreon is a resource that you might find really helpful. It's just $1, and each week I publish a little mini lesson video for all my violinists and violists out there that are either just studying independently, have a teacher already, but just need a little bit of extra help um, in addition to their lessons, or just, you know, for people that love music and, and want to learn. So, um, anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh wait, before you leave, I'm gonna have you screenshot this. So, I'm gonna count to three, take a screenshot. One, two, three. Take a screenshot of that. That way you have it on your phone and or your tablet or something, and you can kind of put that on your music stand as a reference. Okay, see you next time, bye.